Hey everyone, we have all seen the Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit conversion uh, problem, uh, but I ran across this one today and it was just a little bit different to where I thought it might be interesting enough to uh, share how I had solved this one. The thing that made this different was that instead of being passed as an integer, this is being passed as a string to our function. Plus we have this uh, temperature symbol along with both either the Fahrenheit or the Celsius. And then we have to see whether or not um, it's being passed correctly because if it doesn't have Celsius or Fahrenheit next to it, we don't know how to convert it. So this was how I came up with a solution. Pop this in here. So what I wanted to do was when this is being passed in, I wanted to be able to slice either this one or this one off to see whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. I guess I could have done just F or C, but this was just how I did it. So we slice that off and then we need to check whether or not we got Fahrenheit um, or we get Celsius. And let's see here, let me get this. I thought I'd just copy and paste a lot of this stuff in rather than have you watch me type it all out. And if we're not getting what we want right here, we'll just return that there was an error, like for this situation. So After that, what I did was create a function. So I've got this function here, and let me put in one more piece of information here, which will better explain what this function is doing. There we go. So we're passing in this temperature coming in through here, we're slicing the last two off, and then we're gonna see whether or not it's Fahrenheit or Celsius, or these last two things that I sliced off. Then, if it is Fahrenheit, we're gonna pass this um, degree to our magic function. So this is basically degree right here what we're going to do is we're going to replace either the Celsius or the Fahrenheit, basically knocking it out. Essentially, that's what we're doing here. So it would look, it would look like that. Then after that, let me go back here, we're left with a string. Now we have to parse that string to an integer so we can actually do some math with it. So that's what's going on there. Now once we do that, we'll throw in our math. This is the calculation to make Fahrenheit to Celsius. This is the calculus or the math to do uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then what we want to do is we want to return them or in this case, we're gonna output them to the console. Come on, oops, didn't like that. Try this again, B. There we go. Take this one, B, pop that right here. Okay. Got everything in there, no. I need this right here. Okay, so just to recap what's going on, we're sending this through up to our function. We're slicing the last two items off. We're gonna see whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. In the event of Fahrenheit, 
We're going to take this degree and we're going to pass it to this function. We're going to check whether or not we passed a temperature with Fahrenheit or Celsius. And then at that point, it's going to remove the Fahrenheit or the Celsius, leave us with a string, then we're going to parse it into an integer. We're going to send it back here so we can do the math, and then we're going to output it. So basically, I just use math, and I'm rounding off the number to two decimals, and then we're adding either Celsius or Fahrenheit, whatever the conversion requires. So let's see if it runs. Here we go. So we can change this one, we'll change this one, 39, we should get some different numbers. There we go. So I thought this was just a, an interesting spin on what is a very common problem. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.